Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon from RDA. Got another Chrono today. This one is of the CO2 Blowback Glock Combat. Now, I don't know the actual company that made it because it's rebranded by Umarex, but it is CO2 and it does have blowback. The blowback actually does go back pretty far. Even though the blowback itself, I gotta get close to show you this, the blowback itself doesn't really do anything. It's just there for uh, kicks and giggles, I guess. Uh, but it does reduce, it does produce a lot of kick, I can tell you that right now. Very simplistic way of doing it. Uh, there's literally basically just a hole in the back, and I'll show you this in just a second. There's basically just a hole in the back, so the gas goes into the BB and into the slide. So it's very simple, and it makes a lot of kick. And um, because of that, I don't think it'll be shooting like ridiculously fast like the other CO2 guns, but let's go ahead and see anyway. All right, feet per second. Again, point twos and one fully charged 12 gram cartridge. 294. 286. 299. 287. 295. 294. 282. Alright, so it seems to be fluctuating around 300 feet per second, and 300 feet per second is going to be the average. If you're asking why the CO2 one fires so low, the reason is because a lot of the gas is actually going into the slide, and believe me, this thing kicks more than your standard blowback gun. Uh, the way this works, and actually they didn't have any way of distributing it, so they just did the simplest way they could. If I can show you this, there you go. Uh, there is a little hole basically right in the back there next to where the BB would be fired and in short the gas goes into the BB and it also goes straight back into the slide so that's literally how it works it is that simple and it reduces a lot of kick or it produces a lot of kick and it makes the BB fire about 300 feet per second I don't see this as a bad thing because shooting 500 feet per second like the extreme 45 is completely impractical for, impractical for gaming uh, no one allows you to shoot that hot uh, in a pistol especially and there's just really no reason to have it on top of that it makes it so the co2 lasts a very long time in this gun so 300 feet per second is not a bad thing all right now we're about 10 feet away time to shoot a can got a full magazine of 0.2 gram bbs And we're out of BBs. Alright, so here's your can. If you were skeptical that the chrono didn't read it right, here's your proof. A lot of the BBs hit it, dented it badly, but didn't penetrate it, which is about what you'd see in a 300 feet per second gun from about 10 feet away. About three BBs in there. It did manage to actually puncture, though. I mean, this doesn't mean it's incredibly weak in any means. This is still going to be enough to feel it. It's enough to hurt. And for a sidearm... Let's see, one of the BBs went through. But for a sidearm... That's good enough. You could say that. Most sidearms are about 300 feet per second. Uh, 300 to 330 is about the average for sidearms. So it's right on pace. And that perfectly, in my mind, is a lot better than having it at 500 feet per second and not even being able to use it in games. All right, well, there you go. There's the conclusion. This gun averages about 300 feet per second. Again, like I said, I much prefer 300 feet per second than like 500 or something way over field limits. The gun has good, strong blowback and it's enough to feel. So basically, this thing is about perfect feet per second. It's right where you want it to be. It's strong enough and it's very, very gas efficient. On top of that, now you have a blowback CO2 gun, which usually is very rare to find. And if you live in an environment like this, it's pretty cold, as you can see right there. And right now is actually not that cold for this time of year right now it's about 50 degrees and that's for me this time of year is really warm so co2 is really going to come into an advantage so if you want to buy this gun there's a link down below to rda's website there's also a link down below to rda's forum where you can talk to the community so with that said that has been rda's chrono of the glock combat